Thank you, Kumu Momi and the Ke Alaike scholars for presenting the Oli. In the Hawaiian tradition of Aloha, we offer you a gift, a welcome chant titled Halau Pu'uloa. It speaks of the beauty and abundance of our lands, of Waiava, and the harbor of Pu'uloa upon which Leeward Community College sits. The area possessed fished ponds, teeming with marine life and natural springs that fed the lush vegetation that Eva is known for. It tells us of the refreshing winds that cool and the guardian of the bay who protects. This oli extends all the riches of Pu'uloa to you as we invite you into our home. At this time, I would like to welcome Kalea Nelson. Kalea is completing her Associate in Science in Teaching degree with a culturally responsive teaching certificate and an Associate of Arts in Liberal Arts. She will be transferring to UH West Oahu to continue her educational journey with hopes of adding on a forever desired Hawaiian Studies degree. Kalea Nelson will be singing Hawaii Pono'i.
Wow, thank you, Kalea, for such a wonderful performance. On behalf of the University of Hawaii Board of Regents, the university leadership, and the Leeward Community College faculty, staff, and administration, I would like to welcome you to your 2022 commencement ceremony. As I reflect on my own academic path, I often come to the realization of how much support I had from family, friends, and people that I to date still consider my mentors, my advisors, and those that inspired me to make the moves that I made. I can still see my mother's face on my graduation day and how it seemed like my achievement was valued by her a lot more than I valued it myself. Please take some time to acknowledge those special people that supported you during this journey. They deserve some of this recognition too. I can say that while I didn't get emotional during my graduation, I'm getting prepared for when my kids make it to the finish line. You came through and completed something that many attempt but few achieve, your academic credential. Whether your path is to continue your academic journey, go directly to work, or take a break, we are proud of adding you to the Leeward Community College alumni list. I'm sure that you will represent us well. We pride ourselves in working together to nurture and inspire all students in helping you attain your goals and in fostering students to become responsible global citizens. In the words of Mahatma Gandhi, you may never know what results come of your actions, but if you do nothing, there will be no result. Apply what you've learned to real life challenges. We are confident that you are prepared to contribute to your family and your community as a productive citizen. Graduates, you persevered amidst the adversity and curveballs tossed by the COVID pandemic. You made it to the finish line. You have all it takes to succeed in anything that you set your mind to. You can be proud of your accomplishments. We certainly are. Today is your day. At this time, I would like to introduce our first student speaker, Anne Kelsey Ruedo. Anne is the first person in her immediate family to earn a college degree. She's on the Dean's List, graduating with a 4.0 GPA and membership to the Phi Theta Kappa Honorary Society. With her newly earned Associate's Degree in Liberal Arts, she plans to further her education and earn her Bachelor's Degree in Business Administration and Accounting. Her immediate goal after graduation is to give back to her family, friends, and communities that helped her thrive. And Fear. Fear of bad grades, fear of wasting money, fear of failure. Too often we attribute the driving force of our motivation as fear. For the longest time, I believe that this was the only reason I succeeded. If I don't win, the only other option I have is to lose. I was fortunate enough to experience Leeward Community College pre-pandemic. The switch to online classes was difficult for me. Worksheets became PDFs, professors became screens, and desks became kitchen tables. I feared change. Leeward Community College's faculty and staff were able to make the transition comfortable and nearly seamless. Despite the technological roadblocks, each and every office employee, resource provider, and professor did their best to make us students comfortable with change. Despite this, I was still fearful of my own capability as a student. I used to question myself if I should even continue my education. With the help of the amazing staff and the wonderful friends that I have made here, I was able to unlearn and reinvent the idea of fear. It consumes you, but only if you allow it to manifest and thrive. Beyond academics, my experience at Leeward taught me that my trepidation was simply a figment of my imagination. I soon realized that I was able to succeed because I desired the end product. I desired more than a degree. I desired higher potential. And so this became my drive. This drive was powerful enough to fuel me through to where I'm standing today. 
I'm proud to say that I'm a 4.0 student on the Dean's List and a member of our Phi Theta Kappa chapter. I would have never seen myself in this position two years ago. I would like to thank every professor I have taken classes with. They have consistently provided me with new knowledge and encouragement to aid in my transition to the professional workforce. I would also like to thank the counselors for guiding me each semester up until graduation. As a first generation college student, it was difficult for me to navigate through my post-secondary education. The counselors were always there for me, whether it be for registration, academic advice, or even as just someone to talk to. And finally, I'd like to thank my family. Thank you to my mom and dad for urging me to continue trying even when I felt like I was at my lowest. Thank you to my younger brothers for giving me a reason to remain strong and be brave. If there's anything that you remember from this day, graduates, families, and wonderful staff, please let it be this. Run with confidence. Let bravery be your drive. When this ceremony is over, time will move forward. Let us all move forward with it. Mahalo for that, Anne. Our second speaker is Logan Perry. Logan is a member of the Phi Theta Kappa Honorary Society, the Honors Program, and has been on the Dean's List consistently. He is grateful to be a graduate from Leeward Community College with an associate's degree in liberal arts. He is born and raised on Oahu and a graduate of the Kapolei High School class of 2021. Logan will continue his studies by pursuing a double major in political science and sociology. He is still undecided as to where he will finish his undergraduate career. He hopes to attend law school one day and wants to take the time to explore some of his more creative interests as well. He is excited to begin this next phase of his life knowing he has the support of his family and friends. Logan? Aloha mai kako. To all of our audience members watching, I welcome you to a defining moment for us graduates here today. During my short time at Leeward, I've been able to immerse myself in a learning environment that welcomes people of all backgrounds. I've shared classrooms with students who have tread both traditional and non-traditional routes. Regardless of what each of us has gone through prior to our enrollment at Leeward, we've all shared the same path of striving toward an academic degree. We've all taken a necessary step forward to better our future. The motivation that backed my journey thus far was something I uncovered not too long ago. Ambition was something I found lacking in my high school years. Academics were never a priority of mine, and attending college was not an immediate goal that I wanted to pursue after graduation. I neglected my studies and instead spent my time acting like one baboos. I came to realize that I was setting myself up for a rude awakening after becoming an adult. This led to setting aside time to reflect on myself. In return, this became the turning point in my life the catalyst for change. Adopting a different mindset that had a more positive outlook on school led to my grades improving drastically. Beginning my college career was exciting as the weight of my past mistakes could no longer drag me down. I was able to rebrand myself and become the student standing before you all today. Despite this, the strides I made toward the latter half of my high school career weren't enough for top colleges and I was rejected from almost every single school I applied to. This is something I am now very grateful for. Had I jumped straight into a four-year program, I wouldn't have been able to develop my confidence as I've done here as a student at Leeward. I was able to quit both my jobs after paying my tuition in full, and instead spent my time building upon relationships I have with my loved ones here at home. What I imagined to be a miserable year ended up giving me some of my most cherished memories to date. Opening each rejection letter a year ago, I would have never guessed I'd be as content with life as I am today. That decision to change for the better is one that every human is capable of executing. Life, time and time again, reminds us that she is that girl. And let me tell you, she is on a mission to screw us over. 
but it is our duty to rein her in and put her in her place. It doesn't matter if you graduated at the bottom of your high school class or if you've been out of school for an extended period of time. Everybody, at some point, has to take those steps forward to build those ambitions and make them a reality. Some of us have it tougher than others, but that isn't something to stop us from making a difference that could better our lives. Being from the Leeward Coast, I think we all can agree that our lives were not clear cut and set up for us to succeed. But what matters is that we're here, some of us are queer, and we're making a change that we're going to benefit from. Congratulations to the graduating class of Leeward Community College. I am proud of each and every one of my fellow graduates. What this marks is the beginning of a change, a personal movement in our lives. And the only direction we can move is forward to our continued academic success. Mahalo to all of my friends and family who have supported me and continue to boost my already inflated ego. I'd like to extend a special mahalo to my mom, Maya, and my dad, Joe, for giving me a space where I could believe in myself and be my mahu self. Mahalo to the teaching faculty here at Leeward, and mahalo to Professor Adler and Professor Kosasa for giving me the chance to believe in myself as a student. To everyone watching, remember to enjoy the little detours to the fullest because that's where you'll find the things more important than what you want. Mahalo. Wasn't that something? Thank you, Logan. In closing, I'd like to share a quote from Leonardo da Vinci. Learning is the only thing that mind never exhausts, never fears, and never regrets. Graduates, you are more confident when you are educated. Never stop learning, and I am confident you'll do us proud. Congratulations.